Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. I had been thinking of doing a fridge cleaning and reorganizing from a long time. Ramadan is approaching, so thought of sharing fridge organization and that I have included in this video. My routine is not the same every day. I do have someone coming home for helping me in the kitchen. On this day, she had taken half day leave due to other engagements that she couldn't avoid. So morning, I prepared breakfast which was very simple because I had to sit and assist my kids with their school works. We had few guests for dinner the previous night and there were some leftover Kerala porotas. Hence quickly prepared an egg wrap with some cheese filling. I love to fry eggs in an iron pan as it enhances the taste of any dish prepared in it. and there were some sweet parathas which I had prepared for last evening. Shall share the recipe in another vlog. And there we had our simple yet filling breakfast. These are organic vegetables from my aunt's farm. It's really refreshing to see their farm and pluck these vegetables that we could eat guilt free. I do keep two sponges to clean the dishes. One is for just the drinking glasses. I get a feeling that the glasses would smell really bad when only one sponge is used.
This is my thermal cooker in which the rice pot is kept. It saves a lot of energy and time. Now it's time for fridge cleaning. I took out everything and emptied the fridge. My fridge was a total mess inside and when it's a mess, food gets wasted as I would not know what's inside. I did have some fridge organizers which I had used in Riyadh but still took out some baskets lying around which were of different sizes. These liners or the mat were in the correct size but as each sheet of same color came double, I used both for one rack. I don't remember the name but one of you, if I think it's a year back, had given me tip to store tomatoes for a longer period in fridge and I'm still following the same. Remove the stem or leaf and place it downwards. And this tip is the best, thanks to that lovely person. These are lemons. My mother-in-law roll each lemon in paper and it stays fresh for a long time in the fridge. Since I didn't have paper at home, I used aluminum foil. But it's not as good as using paper. Had these ice cream boxes in which I had put green chilies and coriander leaves. Didn't change the boxes, kept it as such. Now fridge organizing varies from person to person. It depends on your lifestyle and cooking. It may not be the same for everyone. I keep changing the arrangements until I am satisfied. And that's the final look of my fridge section. I have some space left at the bottom over there and if needed I can keep leftovers which is very rare now but for Ramadan it would be necessary as how much ever less we cook there would be something left. I tend to keep some items on the fridge doors like half a lemon or any other so this tiny box is kept for that to make it look neat. Only after an hour, I clean the freezer section. Here again, the arrangements keep changing until I am totally satisfied. These boxes are the same that I had used in Riyadh and these are from IKEA. I normally place frozen non-veg in these. And that's final. Oh,
That day later in the evening my elder brother came home to spend some time with kids. It's really hot these days. The sky that day looked very orangish, just like how it used to look when there would be sandstorm in Riyadh. Later that evening, my parents and sister-in-laws along with my little niece joined. Mom had prepared fish curry and on the way they bought tapioca what we call kappa. The combination of kappa and fish curry is something delish. My younger brother is back from clinic. After he got fresh, we all had dinner together. So that was a short vlog for today. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. See you with another one. Until then, stay tuned. Take care and bye bye.